Hey everyone, it's Fletch from Mark in the Dark Productions, and welcome to this edition of Behind the Mic. Today we're going to go through a specialized piece of equipment that you're probably going to be adding to your studio at some point in time, and that's called a phone patch. Now, phone patch is used for a couple of different things. It's used to, number one, put your production audio that you've produced out over the telephone line so a director or a client can listen to that work. Uh, directors like to listen to you so they can direct how you're, how you're doing that piece. And it's also for bringing audio in off the telephone. Uh, maybe you're doing a podcast where you're recalling, recording some call-in people or uh, quite often I do testimonials uh, and embed them in the commercials so I'll have someone get on the phone patch, I'll bring their audio in and, and they'll do their customer testimonial thing. Now the audio quality will sound like it's on a telephone, uh, but the phone patch or digital hybrid actually makes it sound actually quite clear. You can still tell it's on a telephone, but it, it's good high fidelity telephone. The main problem with phone patches is on a telephone line, it's two wires and you have your transmit audio, the audio you're sending out, and the receive audio, the audio that you're listening to, both of those exist at the same time on that one pair of wires, so it's, it's kind of meshed together with no separation of transmit and receive audio. The phone patch, or digital hybrid, takes that single path and breaks it into two paths, one for the receive audio that you're listening to, and the other for the transmit audio that you're sending out, and it uh, it maintains total separation between those audio paths. Next time you're on the telephone, blow into the receiver. I'm sure you've done it before, but you can actually hear yourself in the telephone receiver, and that's called side talk. So a little bit of that transmit audio is actually on the receive side too. So we need a special gear, piece of gear to, to treat that. So I use the uh, JK Audio Digital Hybrid uh, phone patch for my use here and you simply plug a phone into the a phone line into the back of this and then when the unit is activated there are there is an output on the back that just gives me the receive audio from the telephone line and I bring that into a fader on my mixer board here where I can hear that now uh, coming out of my mixer board I take an audio feed and I put that into the phone patch and that's the audio that I send down. So anything that lives on my mixer board, my microphone, any music I have coming in or any of the other audio inputs are being played down the phone line. Now think about that. This is a bit of a problem. Um, echo is caused by you hearing something twice a little bit apart. Echo, echo. So that's what actually causes echo. So if I'm playing all the audio on my mixer board out to the phone line, and one of those pieces of audio coming in is the phone patch itself, I have to be careful not to play the phone patch to itself or the user on the far side, the person on the far side is gonna hear echo and, and it's gonna become unusable. So for this, we use what we call an aux minus setup, and this is performed by the mixer board. So right here, you can see that um, these knobs here are the aux output controls. So the aux output is what I feed to the phone patch. And on each one of my channels on the mixer board here, I am sending a volume level from that fader, my PC, my microphone, anything else that I have on the mixer board, I'm sending that down the auxiliary feed to the phone patch. Now, aux minus is the fader that the phone patch is on. I have the auxiliary output turned all the way down or off on that particular fader. So what ends up happening is, is that I'm transmitting all the audio over the phone line except the telephone receive audio. And that's called an aux minus. It's an auxiliary output minus the telephone input fader. Now, that'll keep all of the... Um, the the, uh, the echo from the far end. The receive audio, I have just on a regular fader here, just like any other channel, and I can bring that up and down. Now, here's another trick that you can do. When you bring uh, your audio in, and I'm even on mono channels here uh, on this mixer, I'm on channels one for the microphone and channels two for the phone patch. Uh, what you can do is when you record, if you wanna keep recorded separation of that audio, even if you only have a single track um, recording program, what you can do is pan your microphone all the way to the left channel, pan the phone patch 
all the way to the right channel and then record in stereo. And what you'll end up with is a left and right feed, but your microphone or your mixer board or whatever you put will only be on the left channel. And then the phone audio will be on the right channel. Now I do this quite often when I'm doing a recorded session that I'm being directed in. I just did a spot this week for uh, National Guard. And the director wanted a very, very, very specific read to that because they're matching it up to some video. Uh, and it was uh, just really difficult to explain that in text. So we got on a phone patch session and he directed me through that. Now, I want to be able to hear him in my headphones, but I don't want that to be recorded in the final audio that I'm going to send him. So I actually did the left-right channel separation. Um, I actually broadcast the, the phone or the microphone in stereo, but then only had the phone patch on the right channel. So what I ended up with after splitting out those audio paths, I had a left channel that was perfectly clean, just my microphone audio, but then I had a right path that had the microphone and the phone patch on it, and I gave that to the director as well, because in this case, he wanted to take a session of the whole tape, and he wanted to listen to his comments as he was going through picking out the little pieces that he wants. So a phone patch, uh, a good phone patch, JK Audio is probably one of the most popular ones. Um, there's certainly cheaper ways to do this if you're just looking to play back audio to your clients, you can probably do it for under $25. But a good digital hybrid that's going to allow you to transmit and receive and record and play back is going to cost you, uh, I would say, even used probably a couple of hundred, three hundred dollars, even maybe four or five hundred brand new. But again, depending on what you're doing, um, it's something that you will need to look at. You will need to probably get something at least that you can send your audio over the phone line um, so that your clients can approve your copy before you send it out. So anyway, that's the that's the lowdown on phone patches. Uh, if you have any questions at all, email is right on the bottom of the screen here, studio at mitdprod.com. And also don't forget to check out the website, www.mitdprod.com. If you have any questions whatsoever, you want to see a topic, send an email, we'll get it right on. Thanks a lot. Good luck in your voiceover career. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.